Thank you. Thank you so much for that anthem this morning. The words that they sung were, Lest we all be somewhere else, quilt us together. Feather stitching, peace be a peace, our tag ends of living, our individual scraps of love. Quilt making is an act of community. People bring the scraps of their lives and stitch them together. Everyone gives what they can to build something warm and comforting. Between the stock market crash and our recent cold snap, many of us have wanted to hide in our beds under a warm, comforting quilt. When we are frightened, it is natural to want to hide. In this success-driven culture, we want to be seen as successful. We want to bring our best. And if we are feeling like we have less, we try to keep it to ourselves. But a quilted community does not require plush velvet and exquisite silk. We can bring our common cloth. What we have can be enough if we have the courage to share. And it does take courage to share. Because whenever we share, we are giving a part of ourselves. And if you've ever given a present on Christmas morning and had a kid look at it, and then just kind of cast it aside, <laughs> you kind of know that giving does have its selfishness to it. There is something human that we want to give. We want to share of ourselves and contribute to the community. And that's why we need community. And that's why we need this community to welcome all gifts. That is why we need a community that welcomes all people. Many of us, many of us have been treated like scrap. Because we have questions about our faith, we've been called heretics. Because we believe in peace, we have been called cowards. Because we affirm many manifestations of love, we have been called perverts. Because we believe in a separation of church and state, we've been called unpatriotic. Because we act with compassion, we have been called liberal. <laughs> liberal, as if that is a dirty word. We refuse to be ashamed. We need each other to remind ourselves that we are not discarded scrap. We are part of a patchwork quilt, bringing the tag ends of our lives and individual scraps of love. We need this place in good times and in bad. We exist by what we share. We live and breathe by what we give and receive. The country is in the midst of a financial crisis, so we decided it was a good time to hold a canvas campaign. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had planned our campaign in advance. I don't know if they planned their crisis in advance. <laughs> it started a couple weeks ago, and over half of you have pledged your support for the upcoming year, and to you, I, I thank you. And some have been able to give more, and some have had to cut back, back. But I want to assure you that all gifts are welcome. We welcome your time, your talent, your treasure. 
Earlier we sang, as Gus said, we sang beautifully. For all that is our lives, we sing our thanks and praise. For all that is our lives. That means we take the good along with the bad. When we share our fortunes, they are multiplied. When we share our misfortunes, they are divided. Because of the support of this community, we do not have to face life alone. The song continues, for all life is a gift that we are called to use to build the common good and make our own days glad. To build the common good and make our own days glad. I like the juxtaposition of that because I think it speaks to our religion. That we don't think that being good is separate from being happy. That we don't have to deprive ourselves of all the fun sins in order to be good and get our just reward later. We understand that giving is enlightened self-interest, that we are intrinsically giving people, that is part of what humans are. We are social animals and we contribute to each other and we embrace that. And so that building a common good is interwoven with making our own days glad. When we sacrifice for others, we are indeed sacrificing for ourselves because our lives are tied up with one another. Each of us needs to choose how we use the gift of our lives. What is the common good we wish to build? The common good is when the care committee visits people when they are sick. The common good is when RE teachers share their time and their wisdom. The common good resonates in the songs of the choir and when, our, when we sing our hymns. There's a joy in sharing. Whether we share money, a hug, a story, a song, we are people who share because sharing is intrinsic to our happiness and the happiness of this world. For needs which others serve, for services we give. For needs which others serve. Sometimes it's hard to be on the receiving end. That sometimes we are embarrassed when we need something. Because I often praise this guy, Emerson. You know, I'm a transcendentalist and I, I often pull him out. But one of the things that he did that warps us is that brilliant essay on self-reliance. That brilliant essay on self-reliance which tells us we can do a whole lot more than we have been told we can do. We can be good. We are not inherently sinners. We have inherent worth and dignity and we should live up to that standard. And that's a brilliant goal. But he also neglected to say that most of the time, we are not the demigods that he wrote about. <laughs> we are people that have failings, and we need help. And that we are also people who have big hearts, who are willing to help if only we know about each other and we listen to each other. And so if you need help, talk to each other because there's someone there who wants to give and giving them the opportunity to give, receiving their gift is a welcoming gift in itself. 
We share. We rely on each other. We give each other rides to church. We share food at potlucks. And we share laughter whenever we gather. For the sorrows that we share, for failures, pain, and loss, for each new thing we learn, for fearful hours that pass. This community has been here for each other. I have been here for over eight years. I've done memorial services. I see how people come together and talk and share the memories and the joys of those people. I have seen this community step into the breach of the pain of Winston-Salem whenever there's a murder and reach out. We work with hospice each year. We recognize Hospice Sunday and the work that they do in caring for each other. We need each other and that's why this place is so precious. Life is not always easy, but because of a place like this, we do not have to face it alone. We have each other by giving and receiving. Receiving, we allow others to give. To be able to give is a blessing. To be able to receive is kindness. Being open to the gifts that others bring to be welcoming, and to look at each other, and to look at each other as gifts, and to cherish one another. This fellowship is precious because it works for freedom. Freedom of expression, freedom of belief, freedom to love, and freedom to be what you choose to be Freedom from guilt allows each of us to select our best path. Look around this room. Just look around this room. Look at the people who accompany you on this journey. They're your friends. Think of all that you have shared. And now look at the people who you don't know. Whether you're new here, if you're a visitor for the first Sunday, this might be everybody. <laughs> but if you've been here for 40 years, it may be that visitor who walked in the door just today. That's a gift. That's an opportunity. And think of all those people, those friends that you have who might not be here today. And maybe we haven't seen them for a couple months. Maybe they're feeling rough times and they're a little nervous about coming here. Give them a call this afternoon. Let them know they belong here. This weekend, Studs Turkle died. I love Studs Turkle. Studs Terkel had the best gig in the world, and he made a good living by really doing nothing but listening. But because listening to other people tell their stories is so rare, it was a great gift. And that's what we can do for each other. Community is about giving and receiving. This fellowship receives from you. It helps us raise our children and teach them values. It inspires us to be better than we thought we could be. Think about what this place means, about what these people mean. Think about those who need this place and a people like us. 
Giving to this fellowship helps this fellowship give to all those people who need us, including ourselves. Let us be prepared to receive them and let us share our vision of one love for all people. May we bless and be blessed.